Team Thompson Racing, first junior speedway sidecar build, episode one in the beginning. Let's get into it. Hey going guys, uh, Adam Team Thompson Racing here. Um, yeah, just thought I'd record this. It's our first junior speedway sidecar that we're making up. Um, you know, all the dicks together now. We've got the engine, uh, which has been supplied by Hills Motorcycle Records. So awesome on their behalf. They've uh, sponsored us a complete buggy package for an EX, a Kawasaki EX 250J 2010 engine. So they've given us all that, um, which is absolutely awesome. So big thanks to them. Um, yeah, and no, I just thought I'd record this uh, for the first one um, we're making up. So I haven't even cut any steel yet. It's all laid out, uh, ready to go. So um, yeah, here we go. Something a bit, something a bit special for the team. This is the first bike that we're going to build. Hopefully, there's a lot more to come. Uh, that's, all the, that's all the jig, jig there. That's the engine ready to go. Uh, that's all our chrome ollie. Um, all laid out, that's our headstock, that's our rear end, that's our uh, sidecar mount. This is the main beam as well as the uh, headstock angle, uh, which is the first cut we're going to make. Uh, better not cut it actually, it's probably about 9.30, 10 o'clock at night here at the moment. So we'll just measure it up, but yeah, I just thought before we start working on it, say a bit about what's going on. I haven't seen anyone else do any videos on it, I think it's um, be pretty cool. Okay, here we go. So, um, this is a two inch chrome ollie. Uh, I think it's a wall thickness uh, 65 thou or 58 thou, I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, this is the main beams made out of this as well as our headstock. Um, we're gonna copy the headstock of our main bike. Uh, that one out there sitting in the van. Uh, it's 130 mil and then we'll make all the front end to, to suit that as well. Um, the angle, I think we're gonna copy the same as this senior speedway sidecars, uh, ours is uh, 33 degrees, um, so we're going to copy that one for the junior. Don't know how it's going to turn out, um, everybody sort of runs a little bit differently, um, but yeah, this is what we're going to do, and worst comes to worst, we cut it out and start all again, so learn from the mistakes, but uh, yeah, so this is um, pretty much the first, first measurement we're going to do up, get the saw out of the road. Um, our, our benders and uh, um, notches for the steel aren't here yet. Uh, we've ordered some JD squared ones that uh, we you know keep reading that they're, they're, they're the best to go with. So that's the one we decided to go with. Um, yeah, hopefully they work out and we build a lot more frames to come. So if people ever after junior junior speedway sidecars or moving on to eventually senior speedway sidecars, uh, just give us a bell or drop us an email. But, um, yeah, so this is pretty much it. Ah, uh, back again. Yeah, it helps if I have a uh, pen that works the first time, but that's all right to get that. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be much more fun and exciting things later on. Um, but yeah, this is the first measurement that we're going to do up. This is the first cut. Our teams are going to do. Um, so that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, we think it is anyway. Uh, we've got a lot more engine sitting there ready to go for our for our junior bikes um, our goal eventually to ha is to have four uh, bikes on the track um, each with uh, different engines in them uh, we've got one EX250J engine that's sponsored um, and we've also got uh, one uh, ZXR 250 engine um, out of one of those bikes, ready to go. And we've also got a uh, Honda CBR250RR engine under, under the bench that we want to chuck in a junior sidecar as well. And you know, without without uh, new 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 people coming through the sport, you know, it's not going to grow and not going to get any bigger. But uh, yeah, that's what we hope to do anyway. <laughs> Thank you. 
yeah, we're out in the shed and, and uh, yeah, it's uh, still dark, it's probably about 6.30, but uh, yeah, we'll give the first cut a go and uh, yeah, start, start making up some frames. next time that hurt <sighs> that was a bit warm that's all right so that's pretty much going to be our, um, our headstock um, you know we'll chuck it in the uh, arm up there um, you know we'll wipe it all down with acetone before we uh, weld it at all um, we'll clean up everything on the uh, bench grinder there um, and then yeah pretty much the bearings will sit inside there and then the triple clamps top and bottom sit on there and you start making all the frame backwards off there. Yeah, having your headstock at different angles uh, starts to decrease or increase trail and lead um, and affects your bike differently. So, right now, so now we're just going to clean up the headstock, um, get all that shit off there, um, and then yeah, chuck, chuck it up there. to get that stuff uh, we might just put a nice uh, round file in there and, and bring it all back uh, this will be all wiped down with acetone before we start welding before we start doing anything uh, too serious cool back in the shed again uh, it's now the 22nd of September so uh, maybe we started this on Tuesday it's now Thursday um, so yeah we've got our notch notch master set up uh, one of the JD squared uh, ones yeah no, it's pretty good can't wait to get into using it. It's gonna be good fun. It's uh, heavy as heavy as anything. So if you're breaking this, I think you're doing something well. That's all right. Um, so now I just uh, finished working out um, what angle we need our main beam at for our junior sidecar. Uh, so what I've done is uh, we've put our headstock in the uh, in the uh, jig now. So just to get up there, I haven't measured it up or anything. I'll wipe it down. Just up there, looking looking nice. Uh, what we've done is um, 
So just trying to work out uh, angles for the uh, main beam for the junior sidecar because that'll then affect how much weight's on the sidecar wheel, how much weight's in the center of frame, your position of your sidecar wheel, how much your bike is tippy as they want to call it. Um, so what, what I've decided to do is sort of take a, uh, my, my main bike at the moment, um, it's a span frame, and uh, take some measurements off, off that and then scale them to about 80% um, for the junior sidecar build. So not sure what other guys do, um, I think it's all something a bit different. That's a uh, older school, that's probably late 80s. Uh, junior sidecar there, so you know it's completely different. They don't even have a bend in the main beam; it's just an axle that's welded on um, right at the end. So with the new ones, they sort of bend um, out of position, you get an angle, so your, your sidecar wheel sits correctly. Um, so yeah, so bit, bit of fun stuff. So I had to go and have a look at what our what our current angle is and where where the bend starts. Uh, and little device, mini protractor there. Um, so then we worked, then we had a look at how far the, band, the um, beam before you start to go on the sidecar axle wheel plate. Um, then uh, did a bit of math to work out um, what angles are at what and what heights are needed to pretty much replicate that into a triangle. Um, working back from there, I wanted to move the bend not not on the um, kneeling side of the sidecar but on the actual closer to the sidecar um, axle. I think some of the new bikes are, have done that as well. I'm not too sure what, what I can't work out what the effect is as long as you keep the same angle that it comes out at. Um, you shouldn't have any effect apart from using a bit more steel on that being there. A bit more chrome oil I should say. Um, so from there, worked out what angle, what angle that is, um, what measurements are needed to have if the beam is straight. So keep in mind those angles that we took, or the measurements that I took was when the beam was already bent. So to work out how much chrome oil is actually needed, um, the usage, um, need to work backwards from there. Um, then uh, to work out the difference in angle needed, um, had to create another triangle. Um, so if I change the, be uh, the bend instead of being from that beam there to that beam there, you increase the angle. Um, therefore, you're using a different amount of the chrome oil as well. If I wanted to maintain the same same height that it's currently at. Uh, so yep. Then I got if I was doing that on a senior bike, then I just scaled it down by 80 percent down to a junior bike. So I know exactly how much um, steel I'm going to use. I know exactly how much the length is going to come out on spend to, and to maintain that same height. So, bit of fun stuff. Not sure whether it's right. And, you know, it's the first bike we're doing. But, um, yeah, that's that's the plan anyway. So, again, we're not going to do any cutting tonight. Um, do some tomorrow. Tomorrow being Friday. So, I can work on as much as I want. Most of the people around here go away on the weekend, so that's alright for me. So, um, yep, 9917 is, I'm um, doing everything in mil. Um, so 917 is the actual length of steel needed. Um, yeah, I currently. Also gone back and had a look at uh, motorcycle in Australia rule books in relation to what you can and can't do for genius BOA sidecars. Um, you know there is some um, uh, rules you do have to abide by when you build in the frames, uh, such as your, your kneeling pad for your senior bike can has to be a maximum width of 4, 400. Um, 400 mil, where your junior is 300 mil, so that's a 75% scale. But when I start to have a look at other ones, such as um, your 
um, your overall length of your bike. You, you send your bike's 2,500, uh, two and a half meters, um, compared to your junior bike at 2,100, which is not quite, not quite 75 percent. So I went and had a look at some other measurements, and they're all different as well. So it doesn't really help anything. So there's no real scale that I can see that they're they're um, looking at there. So anyway. But uh, I know it'd be a good idea to have a look at, see what other people are doing. Um, you know, I do imagine there's a lot of juniors that are sitting in sheds that the people have done up. Um, i interested to hear from people to see what they've done um, to get an idea. Not going to copy anyone because, you know, copy's never going to be the, as uh, good as the original. So, but I uh, know it's just good to get perspe different perspectives on why people are doing things different ways. But, uh, yeah. Cool, cool. So that's all. That's all done up. Nice and easy. Catch you next time.